Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter. Today, you will hear part three sample answers that use high level parallels for the word almost. If you missed the previous video in this series, be sure to check it out to get detailed descriptions about parallels and idioms for the word almost, which is very common and you will certainly use on IELTS. And go to allersenglish.com slash IELTS quiz to take our free two minute quiz and get your estimated band score as well as free resources at your level. All right, today's first question is, do you think education level or skills are more important for those looking for a job? In this first answer, I am going to use the phrases virtually, practically, come within an inch of, and verges on. So be sure to listen for those. Without a doubt, I firmly believe that it depends on the job. For some careers, such as computer coding, it's virtually impossible to complete tasks without the necessary skills. You could come within an inch of completing a PhD from Harvard and still fail miserably at that job without the necessary know-how. However, practically every white collar job requires a certain level of education. And though this verges on ridiculous, people often get hired because they have completed the mandatory courses. All right, our second question. How has technology changed the way we work? and I'm going to use borders on and within striking distance. Lately, it feels like the entire working world is bordering on a transition to telecommuting. Employees who used to travel to complete in-person sales demonstrations are now using WebEx and Zoom to make these demonstrations virtually. We are within striking distance of allowing nearly every employee to work from a home office, which seems unbelievable considering how hard it was to find a work from home job just a year ago. We are undoubtedly lucky that high speed internet is so prevalent and many people have smartphones and personal computers so that we can take advantage of the technology that's allowing people to keep working in spite of being forced to quarantine at home. All right, guys, if you missed the first video in this series, be sure to check it out for a detailed explanation of these phrases and idioms, and be sure to share this video with a friend. And check out Jessica's video, click the link to see IELTS Speaking Part 3 sample answers about travel. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.